Greetings, everybody. Welcome back to more Fire Emblem, the Sacred Stones. Listen to that world map music. Uh, yeah, they definitely changed it up because we're so freaking close to the end of the game, or at least the main game. I mean, geez. We're uh, two chapters away, really. We have uh, this chapter and then uh, the final chapter, and that's it. That's the end of the main game, so heck, let's, let's go and blaze through this thing, huh? According to legend, the sacred stones have sealed evil away from the world. Four of the five stones have been destroyed, leaving only the last stone intact. The last stone must be protected to stave off the Demon King's restoration. Ephraim and company challenged the demons of Darkling Woods. According to legend, the original possessors of the sacred stones defeated the Demon King in Darkling Woods. His foul blood seeped into the land, corrupting every seed and every root. The once pristine forest was transformed by the flood of disease and venom. Legend says that the Demon King's corp corpse lies there still, not dead, but dreaming. Dreaming of when the last stone is crushed. And he will rise from his bed of rocks and worms and return to the surface. Deep within Darkling Woods, misshapen beasts roam in ever-growing numbers as if answering some unheard call. That sounds sticky. Chapter 20, Darkling Woods. I don't know why I thought of sticky, but that's what I thought of. The time grows near. Hold. Huh? What are you doing here, human? You should return to your own kind. This is no place for you to tread. This is darkness's domain. This is desecrated land. That is why I have come. I have the power of the Demon King. I will save us all. You. Evil grips your heart. No, you've given your heart to evil. What a tragedy. Human flesh cannot contain the demon. It cannot control him. You think yourself safe, but you already... You control... Your control slips. I see the madness eating at you. I see the beginning of the end. You're wrong. This... Ah. Ugh. I do this of my own will. I will save Grotto's people. I had a vision. I saw my life traveling two roads. Down one, the Demon King conquers both my body and soul. Haven't we heard this before? Down the other, I mastered the Demon King, and with that power... Uh, uh, with that power, I have heard disaster. I gave the people a better future. I resist the Demon King's attempts to wrest away my will. I saw this, and I made my decision. I walked the second road. You fool! The Demon King has blinded you to his true wish. How can you not see it? He's had you since the moment you first held the Dark Stone. He's been hiding within you, luring you deeper into the shadows of his heart. He commands you and remakes you to suit his dark design. You're wrong. You think yourself unchanged? You think yourself the master? I see only more evidence that the Demon King commands you now. Can you not sense... It's not true! I... I will save everyone. Think back! Remember! Are you truly the man you used to be? Would you justify war and murder to bring about peace and justice? Remember who you were, and tell me if you are still yourself. All of this matters not. I know the Demon King has claimed me. It is not important. Not if I can save the world. My own soul is irrelevant. This is I feared. He will not give up this madness. I am Morva, the Dragon King who guards the entrance to these woods. I do not have the ability to save you. All I can do is destroy the demon that coils around your heart, to prevent the further damnation of your soul. I can only grant you eternal sleep. I cannot sleep. I have not yet. There is no taboo I will not break, no sacrifice I will not make. I... You are beyond reason. Therefore, I too must do what I was born to do. As if it was in that ancient battle, you will die here, Demon King. Well random last-minute character. <laughs> this is awful darkness. I know, I can feel it too. This is Darkling Woods. It was here that the heroes met the Demon King when the Sacred Stones defeated him. I've heard the lingering energies of that battle are the source of the monsters, but I never imagined it would be as bad as this. It's worse than before. It's grown so much stronger. Simply standing here is a struggle, but we don't need to worry. My father is here. He'll take care of everything. Your father? Over there, on the other side of that swamp, is the Black Temple of the Demon King. My father stands guard near it. This is where my father and I have lived for as long as I can remember. 
I see. So this forest is like a home to you. Uh-huh. My foster father leads the dragon tribe. In the last great war, both of my parents were killed. Morva took me in and raised me as though I were his own child. So that's how you came to live here. My father holds back the monsters that are born in Darkling Woods. He's so strong and so very gentle. One day I hope to be like him. Oh! Er, what is it? Princess Erica, Prince Ephraim, we're under attack. Again. <laughs> A horde of these foul beasts is headed straight for us. Mur, are you well? If you're ill, we should get you to... No, no, it's nothing. I'll fight with you. I'll fight, and we'll drive back the dark children. Look at them. Jeez. Uh-oh. Ha 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 ha. I'm leaving this to you. <laughs> As you wish. Please proceed with the rites of resurrection, sire. Let's pick units. All right, we're back. Um, oh, I guess you can't really see it here, but we actually... Uh, here we go. Yeah, we can take, like, 18 members on this field, and what the heck. I, I just don't have 18 characters that I actually want to use. And I don't want to be bringing people in that are just going to kind of be dragging me down, and I have to worry about protecting. So um, I added Renak, and I added Tethys, too. Because I figured, well, what the heck, Teth Eyes can come in useful. And we have Mur here, so maybe we'll get to see uh, a couple uses of her. Even though she's level 1, she'll probably still be able to one-shot a lot of these enemies at this point. Uh, maybe not some of the stronger ones, but, well, we'll see what she can do. Um, uh, other than that, what we got here, um, well, we have a map of, like, tons and tons and tons of enemies all over the place. Uh, lots of really strong dudes. We have... Uh, two bosses. One is Reeve here, which we fought last chapter. Looks like we're gonna have to finish him off in this one. We also have a new enemy we haven't seen yet, whose name is Morva? Huh. Well, anyways, he's a... I think it's a zombie dragon? I don't remember what exactly they're called, but, uh... Dragon zombie, maybe? I don't know. Either way, he's absurdly powerful, so... Yeah, that's gonna be an intense battle, I can tell you that now. Um... Let's see, other than that, I think that's the main things we have to note for. Um, like last chapter, there's going to be tons of reinforcements. They're all going to pretty much spawn from these little caves here, um, all over the place, and they all kind of trigger after you get into, if you cross certain invisible lines. There's like one here, and yeah. Um, but we'll get into that as we come across them. Um, I could start off here and send my flyers over here, but, well, actually, well, you know what? What the heck? Uh, we're we're we've been kind of uh, taking some chances in this playthrough, playthrough, not pray through, and uh, what the heck? Maybe maybe we can do something interesting. What's gonna happen is now that I I head over here, um, we're gonna trigger some reinforcements from uh, this uh, what is it, the western cave over here? I think a couple death coils are gonna keep appearing for like three turns or five turns, something like that. But um, my flyers are actually pretty decent uh, in terms of strength, so yeah, I don't know. We might be able to do all right. Oh, this guy's a lance reaver, huh? A javelin and a steel sword. Well, I could use my axe reaver, but I think I'm going to avoid that, so let's go for... I guess we'll go for the steel lance, see what it can do. I probably should have gone for the killer, but... Ah, shoot. I was hoping you wouldn't have got that hit, but oh well. We still survived. As you can notice, pretty much every enemy on this map is promoted, except for, I think, uh, these dudes. These, uh, yeah. The moguls aren't having, we haven't seen any promoted versions of them yet, but I'm pretty sure there is versions of them. Anyways, other than that, though, pretty much all of the other enemies on here are, uh, yeah, they're pretty much all promoted, so... We have that to contend with. The, the game's starting to really pull out, out, pull out all the stops. So, no holding back on this on this map. So, with that in mind, let's head on up here. Well, actually, let's uh, send Naomi first. Cause she was a little further back. Then let's send Emilio. One, two. Oh, good. All right, we'll go with the Lance, and let's see what we can do here. Let's have. Ford can go up here. Actually, no, you'll go up there, Ford. And we'll swing Eric up here. Ephraim can kind of hang back for now. He got lots of experience in the last chapter. 
So I'm not as concerned with uh, him gaining too much experience in this chapter, right now at least. Alright, we can go there, and my sword masters. Bringing up the rear here. I might use Tethai's to help move them along a little bit. Why not? Oh good, her animation's turned off. Okay, good. And you can go there, Maria. And Maria? I mean Marissa. I don't know where I got Maria from. I guess they are kind of both M words, but... <laughs> soon, soon, it happens soon, the Demon King will be restored to all his former glory. And I, his faithful servant, will bask in his radiant power. Then, oh, then I'll have my revenge on those who scorned me. The Demon King has created me for a fine weapon, a Draco Zombie. This fierce beast and I will guard the Black Temple's entrance. As long as we stand watch, no one will interrupt his rituals. We will drown all who dare approach this virulent mud. <laughs> oh, Reeve, you're creepy. And... yeah, They're probably all gonna go after Tana because she's the uh, weaker of the bunch there. But I don't think that should be too... I think that will be too much of a problem. Oh man, that was crap for experience. Oh, these guys are unpromoted, that's why. Oh well. Oh, unpromoted and she's still... Oh, nice, man. Tana whipping out the critical hits here. Keep that going and we'll do just fine over here. Aha. We were our first white over. Oh, man. Oh, and these... This, this right here is why supports are just ridiculously overpowered because they're, the enemies don't even have a chance against us now. It's absurd. I mean, look at this hit rate. I can guarantee you if we didn't have the uh, advantage of supports, things wouldn't be... Uh, oh, man! Things wouldn't be this ridiculous. And uh, Amelia there, with her ridiculous luck, is just whipping out criticals like no one's business. All right. And still going after Tana. Oh, she did she one-hit that guy? Nice job. I applaud you, Tana. Uh, still more, no more strength, though. She's getting lots of speed, so that's good, I guess. I don't know, speed is really useful in the beginning of the game, but it kind of becomes a little less useful as the, uh, the further you get into it. Unfortunately, but... Although it is still very nice to have lots of speed when going up against bosses, since their stats are a lot higher than uh, normal enemies. And there you go, since we entered, uh, I think it's like... The line's like somewhere around here, but since we entered it, we triggered uh, these death coils to spawn up. So we're gonna have to contend with them. But yeah, the rate things are going, we're really not gonna have a problem dealing with them. And Tana doesn't have any Volunaries on her. Well, at least Cormac does. That's good, but I can't believe I forgot to put a Volunary on Tana. Okay, well, oh, that guy didn't move. Huh. Well, okay. Fine, buddy. Be that way. Um. Let's see. Yeah, might as well just go for the Iron Lance. Steel Lance isn't going to help us out that much more. I really wish Tana would get a, a piercing at some point. I mean, look at this. She's been whipping out these critical hits. Like, she's been getting a lot of critical hits, and we still haven't seen one. She hasn't activated her uh, class skill once yet. So, that. Yeah, freaking class skills. Let's get rid of this javelin de dude here. Ooh, all right, first level up. What do we get? Not too bad. Cormag's getting some serious defense there. I wish he'd get more resistance. <sighs> He's looking like a prime candidate for uh, some talismans. All right, what do we got over here? What are you guys doing? Steel axes, huh? All right, that's not too bad. Let's move Joshua here. Let's see. Can we get Marissa near anyone? Aha, let's see. One, two, oh, good. You can get Marissa right here. Let's. Uh... Oh well, Iron Blade it is. I was hoping she might be able to one shot this guy, but not quite. Nice. Right? <laughs> and yeah, look at that. She's not even using a, a killer weapon, and she has a base critical of 32 right now. That's That's insane. Although I have to say, I, th I think they kind of nerfed the Swordmaster's 
critical hit rate in uh, this version of the game compared to the previous one. I don't know. It's just, um... I remember playing the last game in the series, Fire Emblem 7, the first one to come out in the US, and like, by the time I got to the, the end game, I had a, a, a pair of sword masters, and I could give them a killing weapon, and they had a, a crit critical chance of like, 85 or something really absurd like that. Like, it was just like, holy crap. They would just, every hit, they'd get a critical, and it was just insane. It was awesome. <laughs> That doesn't seem to happen as much in, a, in this version of the game, sadly. But all right. Anyways, enough talking and babbling. Let's get Ford in the action here. Um, let's see, 16 versus 19. Huh? We'll go for the sword. I guess that'll help too in case those axe users come after him, which they very well might. All right. I wonder if we can get Erica to finish off that other dude, the bow user there. We get a steel sword. That's a random drop. Alright. Ooh, nice. Alright. Let's do it. Oh, critical hit. Alright. Man, we're just getting those all over the place. Again, freaking supports, man. Supports are the key to victory. Well, key to an easy victory. You can definitely do this game, especially on normal mode or easy mode. You can definitely do it without the use of supports. But seriously, they make things a lot easier and just so much less of a hassle if you can get a bunch of supports on all of your main characters that you plan on using. Definitely something I highly recommend doing. I'm not sure if I've shown this off, but you can actually check. Uh, you can't do it here. Maybe I'll show it for the next map, on the final map, but you can actually check to see who's compatible with who on supports if you don't just kind of know. Um, the game actually will give you a list on your... Uh, starting when you're in your base camp when you're picking units and stuff you can go into support and uh, actually check to see compatibilities and things like that so uh, yeah there's that which is pretty cool I'm glad the game kind of did that because uh, then you're not just kind of fishing for random stuff and you're like uh, I'm not sure if I can actually do this or not you're not like sitting there keeping two characters together and wasting your time uh, I did that the first time I played Fire Emblem I just had like random characters next to random characters and I was just confused and it, it went horribly awry. I'm kind of disappointed that Tana wasn't able to finish that guy off. Urgh, and all these axe users are starting to swarm us. <laughs> oh man. And <laughs> ooh, we got to see a critical finally for this for the sword there. Nice. Not quite as cool as the uh ones in some of the other Fire Emblem games. I'm not sure I like these the new sprites for the for the rangers here. Oh man, another Jeez, this is just insane how many criticals we're getting. It's almost unbelievable. Oh well, I'll take it. Oh, I finally lured that guy out, huh? We'll probably want to take care of him quick, because I don't want him dealing or messing up Cormeg. Cause Cormeg's resistance is crap. Right? Yeah. No problem dodging that. And alright, doing good, doing good. And more reinforcements start spawning. I might send some uh another group of a couple people down here to help. Maybe uh my sword master since my mounted units aren't gonna be able to get over those mountains. Alright, anyways, let's do this. Ah, uh, let's do this. <laughs> we get a critical hit anyways. I guess it really didn't matter, but whatever. <sighs> Man, what was that? Like three experience points? Jeez. Alright, Cormag. Finish this guy off. His one HP. Seems like a bit of a waste, but oh well. Probably should have checked to see what those death coils have. And if I need to switch equipment on Tana at all. Probably don't. Let's see. Steel, lances, and jab. Yeah, nothing to worry about up there. Then again, with those death coils, maybe uh, maybe my sword masters wouldn't be the best of choices. Hmm. We'll see. Actually, I should probably send them up here next to where all these uh, centaurian dudes are. All right, let's do this. Ooh, maybe I'll send Ross and Luke down there. I kind of like this idea. 
Oh wait, which one of them is, let's see, level 8 and level 9. Oh man, Ross and Loot are like, killing right now. Yep, let's do this. Zoop. Huh, I never thought of this until now, but I I just kind of realized the reason that they probably gave uh, Sages the ability to use, ability to use light magic is because all the dark magic that's running around. If they if they could only use anima magic, then uh, sages would have been practically useless at the end of the game here when we're just fighting a bunch of monsters. They would have had a almost constant disadvantage against all these uh, magic enemies, which would have really sucked. Oh, uh, let's do this. Uh, actually, let's have Amelia head up there first. Oh man. Oh, she can get to this guy. Good. Man, these guys got some beastly defenses. Let's do this. Maybe we'll advance a little slower. Do that. And that. And let's do... Yeah, this. With the iron sword. Uh, Ford can go here, I guess. Stick Erica next to him. Alright. Still keeping uh, Ephraim kind of in the back here. What level are you? Six? We could use some more leveling up with LaRHL. We'll get to see uh, Murr in action soon enough here. It looks like Teth Eyes is just starting to lag behind and be useless right now. Oh well. Aw, oh, man. My freaking timer's counting down again. God dang it. And here I thought it was only at, like, 23 minutes, but I'm probably not at that at all. Now I have no idea where I am. Oh well. It matters not, I guess. Oh man, jeez. <laughs> Freaking promoted units, they still can't do anything to Cormag, and he's still one-shotting them. Oh, silly enemy units. Maybe I should have done a hard mode playthrough of this game. The enemies would have put up a little more of a challenge, I think. Oh well. Maybe it's some someday. Ooh, that was a good level up. All right. Heh, <laughs> going after my sword masters, you fools! Jeez, <sighs> they have better critical hit rates than my other characters, and yet they still can't get criticals. What, what's up with that? Come on, you gotta... Uh-oh. Ow! Oh, thank God. Oh, that's what happens when you don't pay attention. <laughs> I had a mini heart attack there. That could have been terrible. <laughs> oh my god. Oh man. Freaking random sword slayer. Oh well. Amelia's, Amelia's still uh, kicking ass here and taking names. She doesn't have very good attack power, but her critical rate is kind of making it up making up for it at this point. Making it up at this point. What the heck? And there you go. Cormag has crappy resistance. But he's got beastly defense, so... I guess Tana and Cormag actually make a good team in that matter, because then uh, you got Tana to take care of any mages that come nearby, and Cormag can take care of all the physical dudes. Huh. 